Hey, hey, YouTube, this is your girl, Melissa Scott, coming from the 216. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. I just want to let you guys know that I'm just checking in in the video, just saying good evening, good afternoon. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the video. I really don't know what I'm going to title this video because I've been around up in these YouTube streets just looking and seeing what's going on. Being nosy, looking at the mess that's been going on, looking at the shit, the past, and the prior shit that happened in Atlanta that also happened in Florida. I ain't really here to talk about all of that. And if I get up, y'all, I'm trying to cook my little chicken and me some french fries, and I know I'm not focused. But I had to come to y'all guys on a, a, a couple of things. You know how you go around to people's chats and you conjugate and you get to know some of your subs, you get to know some of your content creators like I always say in my video. You are a subby and a content creator. Only difference between a subby and a content creator, you push that button to hit record, then you become the content creator if you got some content. Not saying that everybody got some content, not bragging on myself saying that I got some content because most of my videos are reaction videos, what I see up on these streets. That's why I got my platform. Number one, you got to be careful. You must be careful and mindful in these chats that you go in. It's all right to come down and conjugate with the people, get to know people, get to conjugate. But some of these chats ain't even worth a fuck, a flying fuck, to even drop down in. Kiki, they like you. Especially these controversies, content creators. I look at them, I see them, and I just keep it moving. Either swipe left or you swipe right. Everybody up here on this platform ain't going to be the same. They're going to ride with you today and hate you tomorrow. Okay? But when you out here trying to kiki and get your numbers up, that's the things that you do, and that's the breaks that you take. This shit don't have no age limit. It don't have no discretion. You can get it if you old, young, crippled, blind, or motherfucking crazy. People don't give a fuck about what you are behind this screen. So you come up here. You taking a chance on it once you press that record button. You can't pussy pop and backpedal. Okay, either you're going to be ready for the heat or get the fuck up out the kitchen. Okay? You can get caught up in some shit just by texting and typing some shit, which had happened. But it's all how you handle it. Okay? Me personally, I'm just talking about me personally. But it's some shit that happened. Y'all seen it. I'm not going to pussy pop and backpedal and back down to no bitch. Okay? Just to let you know, are you ready for the heat? Which I told that person before. I'm not going to mention their name. The person know, are you ready for the heat? I ain't think so. I'm just saying. Yes, I said it. Me and this person did have a conversation, meaning we don't know each other. We're behind the screen. I was trying to understand what this person was doing in their videos, and I never got it. I know they were trying to get their numbers up like me, and I understood that part. But I knew this shit was going to backfire, especially when you're running around to the most controversial content creators up in the B sector who don't give a fuck about you and nobody the fuck else. Really? I would have handled that a whole hell of a lot better. But I commend you for the way you did handle it. Like I said, the shit that went on in Florida. People on the outside looking in. Why can't we be, as black people, happy for the people that is going before us? So they was on vacation. So they didn't do social distancing. Nobody had a kind word to say to these people. But they straight making videos. Well, I wonder if she would do this and if she would do that and why they would do this. What the fuck is you wondering? You looking on the outside looking in. What the fuck do you care? 
and then turn around and go hide your motherfucking station. That's another thing I want to ask you guys up on this YouTube. Make sure that you guys please like and subscribe to this video. What is up with this motherfucking shit? You talk shit up here and then you go hide your channel? Damn, you punk bitch. Hide your channel. I can see a person revamping their channel, trying to get their channel to go some other type of way, depending on the content that they have. But you supposed to be Billy Badass. Then when the shit come down, ooh, the day before you was talking hella motherfucking magpie shit. Next, the goddamn page gone. And no, I'm not talking about Read the Heart of Philadelphia. I'm talking about Duchess Kelly Love. Okay, so let's get it twisted. I don't want y'all. I don't give a fuck if you do give the narrative wrong. But I'm just saying who I'm talking about. Because I don't know what had happened to his station. Don't really give a fuck. But I just like to know. What is the big deal when you sit up here and talk all that bad motherfucking shit. And it's just the people in general. Then the next day, your station is hidden. Because I know in good motherfucking damn well, you ain't just vamped the whole motherfucking station. Then again, I don't give a fuck. Maybe you did. But I just don't understand. I'm asking the question. I really would like for you guys to drop down in the comments and let me know. What's up with that shit? Because see, I'm still a new YouTuber out here just trying to make it make a dollar out of 15 cents. Which I ain't even get paid for this shit. I'm just doing it as a hobby. But I'm just saying. What is up with that shit talking shit? And then all of a sudden, the shit get hot in the kitchen, in the kitchen, and then you can't, your, your page gone. Or, like I said before, going around, it's, sometimes it's good to be a bush baby, because everybody say, oh, I be in the clouds, I be in the bush, or I be in the skybox. Everybody got a different philosophy in the name for where they be. Some of these Platforms ain't no way in defuck and hear what I said defuck the 216 is dropping down in a motherfucking platform I'm just not doing it just to, just to get my numbers up I'm gonna get my shit organic like the way I got it because you know what sometime that shit will get you caught defuck up Conjugating with some of these motherfuckers because you know people got ops out here while you sitting up there kicking throwing up them motherfucking emojis and shit you need to be watching the motherfucking chat and go back up in the motherfucking comments and find out what the fuck is really going on before you start flipping off at the mouth and typing shit to an ignorant motherfucker that don't understand a goddamn thing that's just worried about their motherfucking self. Okay? And you know how that person is. Go do your homework and go do your motherfucking history on these motherfuckers that you're watching. Do your history on me. You're watching me? I advise everybody to go do their goddamn homework in history. Okay, this is your girl, Mrs. Scott, coming from the 216, just dropping some knowledge up on you guys, just trying to figure out what's going on. Matter of fact, I already know what's going on because I am that nosy bitch from the 216. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, make sure that you make this Thursday a happy and a blessed Thursday. And also, before I leave, I want to give our prayers. Please hug up on my girl, Tita Talks. They had to take the baby to the hospital. Some of you may know, some of you may not know. I want to send prayers and love to my sis, to Melody, to Ellington, and to Risha. Much love and prayers, and I'm praying for your baby. And I know God got you. This is the 216, and I'm out.